This is a photo from the Kovno ghetto of a five-year-old boy holding ration tickets and a bowl of soup for his family. Um, and from a testimony later given about this photo, uh, we know that this boy's father died when he was very young and he's five years old and he soon became the sole provider for his family um, in, in this ghetto. So life in the Kovno ghetto, like many of the ghettos under Nazi-occupied regime, uh, was incredibly difficult. There was overcrowding, minimal rations, which led to starvation, unsanitary conditions, people living in incredibly tight spaces. Um, the walls of ghettos were often barricaded or shut off from the rest of the community. Um, so we're, there was this sense of isolation, dehumanization. Um, we're not good enough to see the rest or for the rest of the population to see us. Um, and as you can see with this child holding the photo, he's very thin, and also the immense pressure that was put on a five-year-old to have to care for his family, when often children, while their parents were doing incredibly hard labor, um, or if they fell ill, it became, it fell upon the children to provide um, for their family. The ghettos were a key part in the larger Nazi plan to isolate the Jews, condense them into small areas, and later on deport them um, for forced labor, but when it came to children and thinking about uh, the value of the Nazis for forced labor, children under 12 were often seen um, as unhelpful for forced labor. They weren't able to do many of the things that adults would able, were able to do. And then in 1944, the Nazis decided to eliminate any children who were under the age of 12, and this boy tried to escape during that time. but. Ultimately, he was killed in the effort. When you see a photo like that of a child who's five years old, emaciated, but yet providing for his entire family, um, it's very personal, but you can't help but think the implications of that on an entire scale. And when you think about children during the Holocaust and what they went through, this loss of innocence, of childhood, of not having to worry, and the constraints and responsibilities that are so tied to adulthood, it makes you feel very sad that they lost this and a little bit unfair. Um, and overall, children during the Holocaust, whether it was in a ghetto or other places, um, lost that sense of, of family and the right and, and, and joy of childhood. Many of them were sent away by their families into hiding so that they would never be found and have to live in a ghetto and many of them never returned to their families or returned to their homes and they were separated at such a young age. So it makes it seem very unfair that a child would um, have to lose their innocence so young.